Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In the previous video I talked about WordPress, what it is, what you can do with it and the huge potential for WordPress. And in this video I'm going to show you the basic process to install WordPress using cPanel. Um, now if you're not familiar with hosting and cPanel, this is the one of the most popular and the benchmark for control panels. And um, what it does is provided by your web hosting company and it allows you to manage your 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 hosting so basically your sites your emails everything in between and you will see uh, depending on your host some similar panels what they do they base it on cpanel but they customize it to suit their needs because in some cases cpanel can be resource hungry um, but in the main cpanel is still the benchmark so basically once you log into your control panel you get your details from your hosting you'll be you'll get to a page like this um, it probably will be showing the new style called glass. That's fine. So we'll close that. We don't need to see that. Um, we don't need to see this. That's fine. So your host may add some more boxes, say like a billing or support or something. But um, this host of mine is on a reseller account of mine. So this is the bog standard vanilla C panel. So how I normally start with what we're trying to do is store WordPress and get a functional site. So normally, just say for example, I'm making uh, an Amazon affiliate site. I start by creating a forwarding email address. So I'll just show you that quickly. So you choose your domain. So I just made up a domain, demosite.com. Um, oh, no, sorry, no, you go to your ad forwarder. So I will say hello. And it will be this domain at demosite.com. If you've got an account with multiple domain names, add on domains, it will be a list here. But from this account, it's just one. Then I would forward it to my, I have a um, Gmail account that I use for my affiliate site. So I might have a, a, a Gmail account set up just to receive all my affiliate website emails. So I put that Gmail account in here. So if any mail comes to hello at demosite.com, it will be forwarded to this address. Now I only do that to start with. Um, if the site takes off and I start getting visitors and I'm actively developing it, what I will do is I will set up a proper email account. So I'll click on email accounts, um, create, so you put in a username, you put in a strong password and um, uh, you can set your storage space, that's fine. Uh, everything else is fine. And then what you'll do, once you get this account set up, um, there'll be an option here to uh, connect devices or manage so you can connect if you click on connect devices I might have to blur some of this out and you have your actual username your password the incoming server outgoing server this is a bit complicated but um, in the main you should be able to access your webmail from within cPanel but you can add these details to your iPhone to your Outlook or even forward it to Gmail and so on but let's not get ahead of ourselves let me just go back Okay, so that's the email section. Um, the file section you don't need to mess about with too much for now. There are some recommended things to add to your config files, but we'll do that later. You don't need to mess about with databases. Let's close databases. Uh, you don't need to mess about with domains unless you're doing add-on domains. So we can close that one. Um, don't worry about metrics. Uh, security you don't need pretty much at all because your host should give you a free SSL certificate. And it's normally automatic generated, so you don't need to worry about that. Okay, now this is where we want to head to software. So depending on, depending on your host, you might see multi PHP man, PHP manager or just select PHP version. So let me see if this is activated. Give it a second. So what we're doing here, we want to set our PHP to version 7.4. So I think they want me to use the PHP uh, manager. But yes, yeah, so you see with this host, you can choose PHP 5.6. Don't use that. I recommend using 7.4. Don't use 8 yet because I think there's still issues with WordPress using 8. So just use 7.4. It's the best version for now. And then you can save it. But we'll go back to the other one. one second, PHP manager. Then you set your domain. You click on PHP. So right now you see it set to PHP 7. That is the standard one now. But I will set it to PHP 
and click on apply. You should see it change to 7.4, there we go. Now there are some other things we can do later on. Actually, we could just do it now. The multi PHP any in uh, editor. So let me find it. So we want to change the memory limit. Uh, this this field here to two five six. Um, the rest of it you can do the same. But your host, this one they've got it set quite high by default. But normally you'll see here will be two m two megabytes, and this will be maybe thirty two or two, and this will be. Um, I think it's normally 128, so this will be just put this one to uh, 256, click on apply. And that's the basic stance. So now we'll get into actually installing it. Now again, this depends on your host. Um, some of them have soft actualists, some of them had WordPress managers, some of them had WordPress toolkits. Now if you're just making one site on one account, that's fine, use any of them. So um, I've been using this one more recently, the WordPress Manager by Soft Softaculous. That's the easy way to get going. And in the old days, you have to download WordPress, un unzip it, upload it to your host, and do all the permission and set up the database. But nowadays, you don't need to. So you just click on Install. This is a fresh site. Now this is the important bit. So we want to set this one to HTTPS for uh, for secure hosting because we're going to get an SSL certificate with our host. Choose the right domain. To remove this WP. You don't want to, to be installed in, in a directory. You're in the latest version. At the time of recording, is 5.8.1. Okay, site settings. You can do it later, but you can do it all now if you want. So this will be my best Oops. affiliate site. So that will be in the, that will be the title tag. And the description is affiliate product reviews. Um, I don't use multi-site and this we'll discuss later. Admin username, you want you don't want to set a generic admin name, so you can set it some something like uh, you can put your name here, you can put um, just generate a random username because some hosts they provide um, long random usernames, but you set it to something special. Um, again the password you want it to be a strong password, so this is very short. So I use a site such as password generator. Give it a second. I know we said 16, but even now I've been using 20 characters. Uh, with WordPress, you can use symbols, numbers, uppercase, lowercase, and all sorts. So you click on generate password. Just copy that one. Go back here. Put it in there. Say strong. Admin email, so you see I, at the first step I created the forwarding address or the main address. You can use that here or use your personal email or use the email you set for this site. So in this example, I'll just pretend that I set up hello. And that is that. So you have to I'd keep a note of your username and password. And now your language, set as you wish. Um, plugins, you don't need to use any of these. It depends on your host what they provide. We can install that later. Advance. Um, I this is our personal choice. I disable update notifications. I auto upgrade WordPress, but I don't recommend you do it if you use not very good plugins and themes. I auto upgrade themes because I don't like going in individual to individual sites and updating them. I let it auto upgrade. Um, I upgrade to any latest versions. Again, this is completely optional. Um, I, do, I don't set up things from here, I do it manually later on. And I believe we are done. Yeah, so some hosts you may see different options. Uh, but this is the soft, soft, soft Aculus even, WordPress kit. Um, yeah, there's nothing else here to do. It may be slightly different. I'll, I'll find another one of my hosts and I'll show you a different installation um, in another video. So now we just click on install. Uh, this is just a demo website, so the URL obviously won't be okay. If you get this error, just click on overwrite. So it's saying that there's a .ht access file already in there, so I'm going to overwrite it. So because I know it's a fresh site, um, that's fine, I can overwrite it. Everything is still here. Um, where's it going? Yep, that's all still the same, so I'll do install. Depending on your host, it could be 30 seconds, a minute. Just say, don't don't go from this page like this. Oh, now you see it's done. So now, if this was a real site, 
this will be my admin login URL. So it will be https colon forward slash forward slash domain name. So this one demo site.com forward slash wp hyphen or dash admin forward slash. This is the actual login administration URL. This is the website URL. Okay, so um, this will not work because this is a demo website. Um, so now, now you can see it's, it's with the the advantage of the the uh, the management. Uh, sorry, the toolkit is that if you've got multiple sites, you can quickly click on a few of them, and you can update plugins and so on. So in this control panel, it shows you the basic details here, the database name and the database username. You don't need to worry about that. It shows you the basic configuration. Um, you can change your update and upgrade options here. Um, search engine visibility it's, it's enabled i'll double check it inside but um uh, there is a setting to disable it but i normally just enable it straight away and i, I, I get cracking with the site wp cron so that is to run uh, server tasks i'll talk about that later i'll leave that enabled for now and auto upgrade that's all done okay so that is the end of this video um this stuff, don't worry about this. This you don't need. To back up your host your time to let anyway, but you can also make manual backups. And that is the end of this video. So that is how to install it with Control Panel and Softaculous, if I can say it, WordPress Kit. Let's go back to Control Panel. So you see in the top right corner, CP. And it was this one, WordPress Manager by Softaculous. You can also use the uh, Softaculous app installer I see there's many things. I, I used to use Joomla, I used um, actually this is quite new. I used open cart and so on. But this is what we did. But you don't want to do it from me. If you do everything from the WordPress um what's it called? Toolkit. WordPress manager, then just, just stick to this. And you can see that's my site. And I can log in straight from here. Let's see what happens if I log in. Okay, so okay, yeah, this is this is not my site. Um, that's because it's not a real URL. I will set up a new site with a new URL and I'll go through that whole process, but this is just a quick introduction. So I hope you found that useful. Uh, stay tuned. I've got several new videos coming out in the next few days. I'll go through the themes that I use, the plugins I use. I'll go through security. I'll go through backups. Um, I'll go through the actual hosting that I use for my sites. And I'll go through pretty much every little step of WordPress that I know and I've got experience with. And yeah, so subscribe, give me a like, give me, leave a comment, let me know if, if you've installed WordPress and how you found it. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.